So this is question number 20. The figure below shows a right pyramid, a V, A, B, C, D, E. The base A, B, C, D is a regular pentagon. Uh, a, O is 15 centimeters, so this is 15. Uh, v, O is 36 centimeters, so that is 36. Uh, so we are required to calculate A area of the base correct to two decimal places. So the area of the base, uh, the base is a, a regular pentagon, as we are told. So for us to be able to get the area, uh, we will need to get the area of, uh, we can divide the pentagon into five triangles, as I'm going to show. So these are the five triangles. So if we, if we get the area of one triangle multiplied by five, that will give us the area of the base. Uh, now we can get the, uh, this side is uh, 15, the triangles are isosceles. Uh, we can be able to get that angle because the total angle is there is 360. So we divide by 5 and that will give us each angle is uh, 72 uh, degrees. So this angle is 72 degrees. So with that we can be able to get the area of the base. So we say area of the base is equals to 5 triangles multiplied by. We use the formula. I have A, B sine sin theta. So we say it is a half, you multiply by 15, multiply by 15, uh, multiply by the sign of 72, and using your calculator, you should be able to get 534.17, and this is centimeter squared. So that is the area of, uh, the, area of the base, uh, which is a pentagon. So this is uh, 360 divided by 70 by 5 uh, to get uh, 72, 72 degrees. Uh, so that is how you work uh, the first part of the question. Uh, part B, we are told the length AV, we calculate uh, AV. AV is a slanting side, and if you look at uh, triangle AVO, it is a right angle triangle. So we can use the Pythagoras theorem, and we say uh, so therefore, this implies that uh, using the Pythagoras theorem, AV is equal to the square root. Uh, the, 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 the vertical side is 36 squared. Uh, you add 2. That is the square root of 36 uh, uh, plus uh, 15 squared. And that will give you the square root of 2, uh, 12, 1296. Uh, plus 225, which is equals to the square root of 1,521, which you get it is 39 centimeters. So the slanting side AV is 39 centimeters. We come to part uh, C of the question. Part C of the question, we, we, we are told to find the surface area of the pyramid correct to two decimal places. Uh, now, already we have the area of the base, so what remains is to find the area of the slanting triangles, the five of them, and we add to the area of the base. Now, the area of the base, how do we get the area? Uh, we can take this triangle that is uh, A, O, B, uh, like that. This is O, this is A, uh, B. It is uh, 15 and it is 15. We want to get A, B. Because we already have AV, we can use the, the Hero's formula to find uh, to find the area of uh, one the slanting triangle. So this angle here is 36, and this is 36 because the total is uh, 72. So we can get uh, the length of AB, uh, which you say uh, the sign of 36 sign. Uh, this is. Uh, sine of 36 degrees is equals to a half which is the opposite a half a b uh, divided by uh, the hypotenuse which is 15 and when you do that you will be able to get a b is equals to 30 the sine of 36 and using your calculator you will be able to get that is 17.63 centimeter now using the hero's formula uh, we can get this is uh, this uh, we get s is equals to uh, 39 plus 39 plus uh, 
that is the two slanting sides, 39 AB and uh, VB, and then we have AB, which is 17.63, and you divide by 2, that is how you get S, so that will give you 47.84, uh, and therefore the area, we'll be able to get the area of the one of the area is equals to multiply 5, multiply by uh, the square root of uh, 47.84 into bracket 47.84 minus 39 uh, then you have uh, 47.84 uh, minus 39 and finally we have uh, uh, 47.84 minus 17 point uh, six uh, 17 point uh, that is the length of uh, that side uh, 17 point six three and that will give you the area so because of space you just use your calculator and you should be able to get uh, one thousand six hundred and seventy five uh, point six two then you add to the area of the base which we got it is five we got it is five uh, where did we get that five thirty four uh, point one seven so the total area you'll be able to get it is equals to uh, two thousand uh, to give you two thousand two hundred and ten point uh, one nine so you just uh, need to use your calculator to get the, the area and this is centimeter squared uh, then from there we are supposed to get area uh, the volume of the pyramid volume is equal to a third base area times height we already have the base area so it's a that multiply by 534.17 and the height we know it is 36 so that should give you uh, 6419.64 using your calculator this is centimeter cubed because it is volume, which we say it is roughly 6,420 uh, to 4 centimeter cube, and this is to 4 uh, significant figures. So that is how you work out that. Let's see how marks are awarded. Uh, so here you get a method mark, uh, you get a bonus point, and you get uh, a one mark for the answer. Then part B, part B you get a bonus point, one bonus point. Uh, then we have part C, uh, we have, uh, this is here, where we get uh, a bonus point. Then uh, so that you get uh, the one mark here, that is uh, another method mark for, for, for applying the, the hero's formula, you get one method for the answer. And here you get one mark for the answer, and you for the method, and one mark for the answer. Here you also get one method for the answer. So that's how you, the marks are distributed in this question. Uh, so this is from the 3D topic, and uh, if you are not sure of uh, how we have worked it out, you can get to my uh, my lesson on uh, 3D, and you'll be able to understand how we work out uh, this kind of questions.